Well, it's that time of year again. R2 has been banished from the living room to make room for holiday decorations, and he's sitting here all by himself down in the workshop. I apologize for the radio silence the last couple of months. Uh, things have been pretty busy. Some of it droid-related, but most of it not. I have had a chance, though, to reflect on the last year and also to consider what lies ahead in the year to come. So first of all, a quick update uh, on the event since my last video. Uh, R2 and I did attend the Air and Scare event at the Air and Space Museum down in Washington, D.C. around Halloween. And I got to say, it was an amazing event. Uh, R2 was, uh, he operated flawlessly. Uh, I had him going for the entire day and he barely used half of his battery capacity. Uh, the smart shunt actually was fantastic to be able to check using my phone to see what the battery charge state was like. But most of all, just seeing him interact with the kids and the adults was just fantastic. It was a lot of fun. There were lots of other droid builders there. We all had a great time and it was certainly a really memorable experience. So we all know the droids are never really finished, um, but uh, I do have a number of tasks that I'd like to try and get to at some point this year. And I thought I'd uh, just kind of give you a little preview of some of the things that I have on tap. Not all of these are likely to get done this year, uh, but we'll see. Um, the first and most important though is I do need to come up with a daughter electronics board. Uh, I talked about this in my electronics build. I do have a an unused connector off of my main board and I thought I would route the uh, fused 24 volt power to a daughter board and this is where I would house all of the electronics used for the body. So uh, I'd have my body marked Duino as well as the uh, control board for the uh, uh, charge bay and data port logic lights. Um, I've also been experimenting a little bit with voltage regulators um, and uh, this is a cool little power distribution board. Uh, might come in handy uh, instead of using a traditional bus bar. Uh, this is a lot more compact and it will allow me to connect multiple devices. And I'll probably come up with some sort of cool uh, mounting solution. Uh, another builder on Astromech came up with a brilliant idea of stacking these on top of one another and creating a, an all-in-one unit. So I think I'm gonna do something similar. So this obviously needs to be the first thing that I'm going to do because everything downstream is gonna depend on me having uh, power distribution uh, throughout the droid. Uh, so I also do have the uh, data port and uh, charge bay logics. Uh, these run off of five volts. Um, I had hoped to incorporate this VU meter as well Unfortunately, this particular one and about the only ones that I can find are all 12 volt based. And right now I don't have anything in my droid that runs 12 volts and it seems a little silly to have an entire uh, voltage branch dedicated to just one little component. So I might look for either a five or, or a 24 volt VU meter. In the meantime, I'll probably just put some speaker cloth or some blackout cloth behind that just to block that off. Uh, I also did get some of uh, these magnetic reed switches uh, and these are normally closed switches. The, uh, the CBI and DPL lights, uh, there's these little jumpers here which allow you to uh, optionally wire in switches on your doors so that the lights only come on when the doors are open. So I hope to be able to incorporate that as well. Another really cool thing uh, were trading cards. Uh, I designed my very first trading card and I literally got them the day before Air and Scare. Uh, so I had a box of about 100 of them and I think I handed out 97. I think I've got three of them left. Uh, this was a lot of fun to uh, put together. I'm gonna be putting a whole bunch more together. Uh, but I also want to have R2 have the ability to uh, dispense them uh, from time to time. So this is the trading card dispenser that uh, James R5D4 over on printables, AKA Jaffa, 007 on Astromech designed, um, and uh, I haven't finished the assembly yet, uh, but I also want to create my own custom mount. I'd like to be able to have this behind the LDP, uh, but also have it be easily removable so I can get to everything else in the droid. So it's going to take a little bit of work to maybe design some sort of a quick release mounting bracket for that. And then to control it, uh, one option that I came up with or that I found was this little uh, uh, remote controlled relay. Um, it actually has momentary switch control so I can simply press and hold a button long enough for the card to dispense and then I can just release it. So my, my hope is that that's going to work really well. And this will also 
uh, be powered off of the daughter board as well. So that's one, one goal, one objective. And I have also started printing out the Battley drink tray. Uh, this is certainly a lower priority item, but it's something to keep the printer going. Uh, we'll see. I would like to be able to finish that really nicely and, and give it a nice uh, gold finish, but uh, we'll see what happens there. And then the last thing uh, is going to be um, my Markduinos. So these are uh, version 1.5 boards that are currently running the V2 firmware. Uh, and one of the things that I know I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to update my Markduinos to the V3 firmware. Uh, I have my little programming board here. Um, and that's going to give me, uh, it's going to sort of open the floodgates to me being able to customize and, uh, and, and update all of the animations and so forth. So uh, that's going to be another daunting task, kind of like the electronics. Um, Max Stang over on Astromech is a, a great tutorial um, on his build log. So I'm going to use that as my baseline and uh, I'll try and document that process as well as I go through it. So those are some of the plans for the coming year. We'll see how much of it actually gets done. Um, if any of you have any questions or would like to see anything uh, specific, please leave a comment in the video and uh, um, I'll do, it, do my best to get to it. So overall, it's been a pretty amazing year. I think uh, a year ago I was still fiddling with the doors on R2's body and uh, now I've got myself a functioning R2 that's been to a couple of events. Uh, I appreciate all of your comments and all your support, and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. I'll see you later.